Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. The Illinois Attorney General's office has gotten more than 900 complaints about price gouging during the past couple of weeks of this coronavirus pandemic. The stores are already bearing the brunt of the blame, but Morning Insider Tim McNicholas learned that the issue of pricing can be complicated. The California Food Mart in Logan Square still has hand sanitizer. The only problem is they charge $16.99 for 8 ounces and $7.69 for 1.8 ounces. So we asked employees about that, and they said a supplier, a wholesaler, jacked up the prices so this store charges more to make up for the cost. Is that believable? No, it's totally believable. Rob Carr of the Illinois Retail Merchants Association says he's heard of other stores running into similar problems. So the retailer is more, slight, more likely than not reflecting the price that he or she is being charged. And the Attorney General's office says as they investigate complaints, they're hearing the same excuse from other businesses. If a store can justify their prices by showing an invoice or proving the supplier raised their prices first, then the store's high prices are legal. Retailers do have to make up their costs, right? They're not a charity. Uh, they have to pay their employees, pay their employee benefits, pay their rent, just like pay their taxes, just like everyone else. So we asked the attorney general's office if they're cracking down on wholesalers and suppliers. They said they are tracing complaints back and they're looking into some suppliers too. But Carr says even they could be charged more by manufacturers trying to make up for overtime costs and other expenses during the crisis. And in the cases where they're not, well, then that becomes a different issue. I think that's where the attorney general's approach is, is so uh, uh, good. They're being deliberative. They're being careful. They're not being careless. Despite all the complaints, the state says most businesses have cooperated and they haven't issued any cease and desist orders. But some complaints are still under investigation. Tim McNicholas, CBS2 News. With such high demand, some stores are also turning to suppliers or wholesalers they don't typically work with. Still, what you see at the store could very well be price gouging. If it seems too high, you are encouraged to call the Attorney General's office or file a complaint online. 